Hello everyone, in this episode Soro is going to be attacking the cannibal leaders. I have a fake idea about where they are located and I have a feeling I can take them on now, so let's just go in there and first let's leave Mongrel. In the previous episode I think I fought quite enough of these fogmen, so I think you got an idea about how it's like from that episode, if you're curious. There is a uh, entire butchering that happened in here. I uh, defeated like 200 of them. Looks like there's someone getting eaten over there. R.I.P. Brother. Most importantly, Beep was okay. Looks like I found a holy mine. I think I'm going to attack that while I am going to the cannibal territory. Maybe I could bring these fogmen with me. Oh. He's not slowing down. I think the characters aren't going to slow, slow down when someone's chasing them. Or a hostile is chasing them anyway. Okay, what the fuck is this? Oh, they, it's a slave camp. Lover servant. I've never seen this character before. Hmm. Well, you learn everything so, or something new every day. Well. Oh, they've got a slaver too. Blessings upon you, brother. Welcome to our slave camp. You're such sentinels. How dare you get in my way. I will butcher you and feed you to the dogs. Or the fogmen, whichever is f closer, really. Okay, the sentinels are absolutely no threat to me. And these guys are wearing very stupid armor, so um, their uh, hands have a bit of a habit of falling apart. And there was that 71 damage I just saw. Holy shit. Okay, I'm getting stronger. Okay. Uh, today I'm going to be getting rid of some slavers, looks like. But I will happily do that as well. Unfortunately, this is faction uniform, so the selling price is quite low. But nonetheless, no matter. The master added, we have to get out of here. Hmm. Right, I'll unlock your circles. What? You want tanks or something? Get lost. <laughs> Bro, I just freed you from slavery. Nah. Fuck you. You don't deserve to be freed from it. Okay. The fuck are you going? Oh, I can't attack you. You're my ally, technically. Okay, whatever. I will be a merciful guard today. Anyway, this outpost was a bit pathetic. I think this one wants to join my cause. Lover servant. Oh! Here's some more. I'll make sure they do not see the light of day. Kill him. Destroy yellow. Because they are fighting one by one is pretty easy. Now I can uh, loot them after. RIP homie. They don't really do that much damage either. But it looks like I don't do much damage to him either. This one has 41 toughness. 
I was doing 70 damage to the other guy. Oh, that's right. Oh my god. That's why I don't do damage to him. Well, here we go. Now I'm going to do. Yeah. My backup weapon being worthless, kinda. Screwed me up. <laughs> oh no, am I, am I going to recover from the 3 damage you just inflicted upon me, loser? Should I have spent some time researching better technology, shouldn't you? <laughs> okay, I guess I'm using the crossbow. I think I kind of suck at using it. Whatever. Hmm. That guy just came here and decided, uh, yeah, it's not worth it, I'm out. <laughs> Evil has no place here. <laughs> yeah, sir. I think that's uh, why I should exterminate all of you. First thing I do in the morning. I didn't think that you would have a slave camp here, but... You know, since you have one, might as well eliminate all of you. Because while there are some racism allegations against Sora, there are absolutely no slavery allegations, that is absolutely certain. Okay, they have nothing. What a city place. Oh. Hello. Uh. Hello and welcome everybody. I just butchered the entire camp. I hope you don't mind me doing that. Okay, need to go out. I just found me any other voice. What the fuck is this? Okay. Oh, my allies. Let's fight them together. Looks like the bull does 60 damage to me still. Without my armor. That's very big damage by the bull. I need to kill it first. There we go. Get rid of it. I'm sorry, but. Your owners are bad people, so I'm going to kill you. And why are these... Oh. These <laughs> only servants just came here and they're waiting for someone to talk to, I guess. They're feeling real lonely right now, I think. Okay, let's kill this bull. First thing I do. Sorry, but... I don't make the rules. Actually, I do. You're not moving anymore. And I'm just going to put all of this stuff in here. And take the good shit that you have with the food cubes. Yes, I think you do. You see. See it quite well. And... Uh, the hungry bandits just decided to take over the entire place. That's quite funny. But what isn't funny is that they are still trying to fight me, even though there's holy nations guys right next to them. Uh, I'm stuck. Help. I was supposed to fight the cannibals, but this sounds pretty fun too. Taking out a slave camp and a caravan. Damn, felt the block check there. Mm. I definitely can solo the caravan though. 
How would it change if I move my backpack here? A little bit. Seventy two melee defense now. Got an entire level from this. Nice. I'm bleeding a little bit, I can see, but don't worry, that's just customary for Zoro. <laughs> I love this F7 mode. It's just so aesthetic looking. Although I'm not able to see what's happening really, so it's a bit bad. Okay, I'm down. There's a pelerin as well. Taking part. Looks like in the last moments I took down one of them. Not too bad. Not too bad. The Holy Nation is still quite far from my grasp. I mean, the caravans are not their strongest squares at all. But 88 toughness. Anyway, next up I am heading out to the Cannibal Plains for sure. It's cannibal hunting time. It's time to take them down. Holy Servant versus Escaped Servant. Free for all. I'll look at this. If they're they win or lose. I don't know if I'm going to see in time. Maybe the Holy Servant won because it's not, or he's not taking any damage really. I usually come here from a different route. Hmm. There's the Armored King. I used to have something really big some, at some point. Looks like this is the route to the Armor King. Actually, it would be smart to go there first, wouldn't it? I will look to upgrade my Samurai Specialist Armor and maybe look for a uh, Chainmail as well, if I could find a Specialist. Or a masterwork, I mean chainmail armor, because that would give me the highest level armor possible. And that route involves swimming all the way here. And some swimming practice too, while I'm at it. You know, I've spent maybe one one hundredth of the game time swimming with this character, but it's already like at the same level as the athletics. It levels up really fast, which probably is good because it would be very annoying if you had to power level swimming. <laughs> like, bruh, ain't no way. <laughs> Welcome to the Armor King. What do you happen to have here? Oh, wow. Oh, I must have sold him that one. I must have sold him the Ninja Blade and he's still in the inventory. That's why it's there, I think. Oh yes, I also need a bit of an uh, upgrade in the helmet category. I mean, this is an incredibly good piece of armor, the samurai helmet. 90% cut resistance. Melee attack bonus is minus 5 on the tin can though. Is it better? I mean, first of all, I'm definitely replacing that one. Because while yes, it's good, I definitely need to upgrade it now, it's just high grade. I think my head has been holding me back a little bit in these fights. And yes, this is going to reduce my melee attack by minus 4. But the fact that my head is almost invulnerable is going to be worth it, in my opinion. 
Now, did he seriously spawn without any chest plates? Huh. Or um, any of the chest plates I want anyway. I mean, he has a however chain shirt, something I guess. Black and chain shirt. I already have a masterwork. The only thing that can upgrade it is getting a hiker or a masterwork grade. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he doesn't have anything this time, which is unfortunate. I just got the. Actually, I shouldn't say he had nothing because he literally had a masterwork somewhere I haven't for me. Let's go here. And by the way guys, today it is plus 14 degrees outside. So the water is officially like melted now in the lake. It took a bit of a while because it is almost May right now. And when I um, release this video it's going to be like the 10th of May or something like that. But anyway, whatever. And by the way, I just um, came home from my exam. I don't know if I said it already, but I had an inorganic chemistry exam. Oh, what? What is this? A broken skeleton? Just existing out here. Okay, well, he's now op my opponent now. Previously I fought this kind of enemy before. Didn't go too well. Looks like he's giving me a little bit of experience. What about my dexterity? Yeah, dexterity too. The more you fight, the stronger you get. You know... I've got a... <laughs> I'm 2000 cat bounty for the holy nation now. And this broken skeleton's handling, handling its own. I mean, it makes sense because my attack is not very high. Oh, that's valuable. This is a bunch of, like, tech hunting area. So, I don't know if I'm interested in going there right now just because... Uh, I don't want to spoil that for my actual uh, playthroughs because I've actually never reached the top of the um, tech. And that's the hidden village. The village hidden in the forest. <laughs> so more Naruto references, basically. I think I know who lives here. And it's not the cannibals in this one. Yes. Here we have one of my favorite factions in this game. And they are a pretty natural place because... Okay, let's see here. Stop right there, brother. My comrades have you surrounded and they are ready to kill. You are heavily outnumbered, so I suggest you cooperate. Tell me who you are. What's with the third degree? I'm an adventurer. I don't mean any trouble here. Lady. Well, adventurer, you're off trespassing on private land. Guess you discovered the wrong place at the wrong time. See, we are not too keen on people knowing our business here, so give me one reason why I should let you live. Let's Lucky for you, we're running low on stocks at the moment, courtesy of the local cannibal horse killing of our regular suppliers. You'll find trade points inside the village. Do your business and leave. But last of all, before I let you go just yet, I need you to prove you're no Ocranite lucky. Swear on the Phoenix, swear on your guard that you are what you say you are. Swear to me that you are here for trade and trade alone. I will do, I guess. <laughs> and I responded like that because Soro is atheist. Okay, I'll be watching you closely while you're in the neck of the... You're in the... You're in my neck of the forest. Got it. There's a spelling mistake there. Thanks, I guess. What's this place, anyway? The less you know, the better. Forgive me if I'm not overly talkative around strange men. 
We're done here talking. Watch yourself. I'll be keeping an, my eye on you. Now these are the flotsam ninjas. And while the other ninjas are a little bit weak, these guys are actually almost as strong as paladins. They're just lightly equipped. You can see their stats are in the 35s to 40s in the relevant abilities. What's this place here? I want to meet with their leader. This is a Shinobi citizen. Almost all of them are women. They do have some men, but not many of them. Where would Molo be? A station bar. Oh, let me see what they have in the bar. They have... Uh, 20 and 21. She's pretty strong. She's a unique recruit. She's also, I think, a unique recruit. I think that's a random. Or maybe those, that's also a unique recruit, I'm not sure. These two are definitely just randoms. There is a knife, you can recruit her, for sure. Oh, Flotsam Jonin. Attack 70, dexterity 70, damn, that's strong. But... Where is Mol? There she is. Mol. Um, her stats are quite high, as you might see. Dexterity 99. And pretty sure it can actually be a hundred. If it just so happens. It goes over a hundred with your with her equipment. So she's very strong. But at least the cannibals are good for one thing target practice. Anyway, you're here in my space, so I guess you want something, huh? Ask away. I've got nothing better to do till my next target drops my way. Drops by anyway. Are you the leader of the Flotsam Ninjas here? Can I join the... Okay, I'm kind of curious about this. No slaves, the cannibals make a good deterrent anyway. Not to mention, they are mere insects compared to the holy nation, as long as we keep them under control, that is. My only one wish is that they'd learn how to wear pants. Yes, the cannibals are very... disabled. Are you really in the cult of Narco? Huh, the cult of Narco? I guess you've been reading too much holy nation bullcrap, huh? There are hundreds of possible interpretations of a singular religion. The Holy Nations is just one of many. They see black and white. Some of us are unfortunate enough to be born evil in their eyes. Some of us take that status a step further by fighting those ignorant labels. I could go off on a rant about religion, but I won't bore you. Please do. Most of my ninjas, the ones who escaped the Holy Lands, they still practice Ukrainism, but a different school of it. One where there is no good or evil, just birth and death. If you believe in narco, check, your, check our outpro, outpost for scripts. You'll see there is one right view. Only one of many possible views. But of course, myself, well, I think it's all garbage. <laughs> Agreed. Next question. Looks like Soro gets along with her. Naturally. Can I join the float some ninjas? Well, in a world of fire, happy religious spirits and flesh-eating nudists, we can never have too many allies. Swear your allegiance to me and your defiance to the phoenix, and I'll make sure my ninjas are always ready to protect you. Together we can take down the holy nation. Yes, I think I definitely accept this. I swear my allegiance to the floatsome. Well, for now you're one of us. Go forth. In your slaughter of holy nation, luckies. Spare the innocents, but show no mercy to the paladins, the priests, and more importantly, that old cretin lord phoenix. You know what I kind of am curious about? I want to know if Mol could actually beat the holy lord phoenix in a 1v1. 
because her stats are absolutely insane, but I think her equipment is kind of bad. <laughs> That's her only problem. I need Valtena Seta, either one of those idiots. I'm curious, what the, what is he going to say next? I need to find a fix, but in the holy nation. Okay, she's not going to say anymore. That was pretty interesting. I really like this place. I think the lore is cool. I think the leader is cool. I think they are cool because they are a ninja, you know. And I'm a weeb, so of course I like them. Also, even though they are a little bit against men, they aren't completely against men, as you can see. They have men here. Got some refugees here as well. Basically, they're civilians. But even their civilians are more elite than the Holy Nations guys. Now, where is your uh, shopkeeper? This one, I think. What can I do for you, travel? I would like to trade. And this place is really nice. I mean, they don't have the best stuff. But they have better than what the Holy Nation can offer you. So it looks like they sell a blueprint to the plank. That's pretty interesting. Katanas, Naginatas, Ring Sabers, Wakitsasis, Spring Bat, and Toppers. Mm, looks like they have things from Sodi to High Gear. So this place is not bad at all, and I actually really like it. I don't have much else to do here right now, but I will be bringing them the um, lackeys of the Holy Nation when I get to them. So Seta and Valtena. They are the two High Inquisitors of the Holy Nation, directly below the leader, Holy Lord Phoenix. So I, if I bring them to the Flotsam, the Flotsam are going to get stronger. They are going to, you know, take over some Holy Nation territory. And I think that right there is going to be an enemy, but I'm not sure, it might be cannibals. I hope it is, to be honest, it would be fun. There's also something there. Okay, I don't think this is cannibals. Just a building. It has a flood some ninja in it. And money. He's a man. Got business with me, traveler. Who are you? Flotsam's second in command, defense captain money. I'm an ex cannibal hunter, made it my life mission to track cannibals ever since I escaped their prisons ten years ago. My comrades though, they weren't so lucky. I'm somewhat of an expert on them now though. I know how they breathe, how they move, how they feed, and I suggest you don't delve far past this outpost if you want to live outlander. I could use some supplies. We only keep the sensors here, but maybe we can sort things out for you. Take a look. Okay, he's got a little trading thing here. I can sell him this uh, extra raster chunk ninja blade that I got from the Hive Prince. Yeah, this place is really nice. They've got some good stuff. Even training dummies for you to practice with a bit. I mean, I'm just glazing this place all over. <laughs> but I just really like it. Right, what's, what is that one? I assume that post over there is not going to be so nice. And uh, I don't know what that building over there is. But it is in the cannibal plains, I assume it's probably something to do with them. Let's see. It's a tech hunter. Another one of the good guys, quote unquote. Now, who lives here? Some flotsams, fighting shrieking bandits. Now these shrieking bandits are naked. They are not very strong, but there's many of them. And there's cannibals as well. I need to be careful not to zoom too close to the cannibals, because YouTube algorithm might get a bit weird and, you know, get my video demonetized, because they are kind of naked. You know, YouTube can be a bit weird with that. I'll be, I'll be careful not to zoom too close. But um, these Reagan bandits are basically fogmen, but a bit stronger. 
That's how you could look at them. They have gone insane in the forest and now they just run around screaming nonsense. And I need to save my newfound friends here. These ninjas. And while they, th they did say that the cannibals are no issue, these shrieking bandits are a bit tougher. So they might struggle with them you know, when they fight. But me, uh, not so much. Handle them pretty well. I'm not getting that many hits though. It's a bit scary. But I don't think they are going to abduct me. They are a bit too insane for that. They just run around screaming and stuff. Besides the plot some got up. Now they are fighting with me. Damn it. But do the cannibals use flesh cleavers naturally? Almost crashed there. That was a bit scary. And th these ones are also using flesh cleavers. Interesting that the cannibals have better equipment. <laughs> like what that's what's that about? And yeah, this looks like it's another flotsam hideout. Next up, I want to go this way. Oh, there's big things too. This is just a <laughs> lovely place, a lovely place. That's the sea. Oh, it's one of the ruins. It's one of the ruins. Okay, forget it, forget it. I'll see it another day. Today we hunt cannibals. From this village. Those big things are blind. <laughs> actually, like, fun fact, they actually are. It wasn't a bug. Like, they are uh, not very good at seeing things. Oh, there's already a fight going on in this cannibal village. What are they fighting? Or what were they fighting? Oh, shrieking bandits. Okay. Naturally. Now I can probably wipe all of these guys out. Cannibals, especially if they are distracted like this. But I wonder if there's any kind of um, leader present for them. Ooh, cannibal chief. He's not very strong though. I'll kill him. He doesn't have any bounties for the flotsam. That would be nice. Also, I wonder if I kill the cannibal chiefs. Are the can cannibals going to start spawning less? Because, yeah, that would make sense to me if they did. I'll fight this a bit slowly because there's so many of them. And looking at the stats of the cannibals, they're not that strong. They don't even reach 20 really. And the scrawny cannibals, they are even weaker. They are like weaker uh, starving bandits because they've got less health. Because the normal cannibals, they have... A oh, this is another cannibal chief. They have two of them. Too bad I can only abduct one of them and kill them. Hmm. Uh, I don't need to work down this place. I think there's too many of these guys. Too many cannibals to slay. <laughs> it would be funny if suddenly like there was a pop-up. Cannibals are now hostile, <laughs> as if they weren't before, you know? With some other factions you can get that. Hmm, mm, are you okay? Yeah, I, I need to be careful because they do beat you up after they capture you, so... Uh, I don't want to die, you know? That's not ideal. 
and I don't really have any guys to save me, so... That looks like I did get most of them off my back like this. Scrawny bandit got some hits. Or not a scrawny bandit, it's a cannibal. 56 damage now. Oh, but I do one hit KO these guys, the scrawny cannibals. Because of their uh, only having 80 HP. Weakest weaklings, maybe in the game. I'm definitely curious about like which ones are weaker. The starving bandit, the scrawny cannibals, the... I mean, there's also the Hive Drones, they aren't really enemies, but I can include them as well. Hive Drones, Scrawny Cannibals, Starving Bandits, and Fogmen. Like 1v1 tournament thing. To see which ones are stronger. I will do that in my evil playthrough. I'm actually really curious about that. <laughs> I mean... Oh, nice. That one lost consciousness. Nice interrupt on the hit. Mm. I don't have the ideal build for a solo or a solo wing machine. Of course not the stats either. But I think over the course of Taking down all of these cannibal villages, I will get those stats. But I need to go to the next place and sell that too. Perhaps. Hmm. The more I hit them, the more their attacks are going to get slower. Because of that reason. Yeah, like that. This is too many though. Cannibals might be weaklings, but there are many of them. It's a lot very similar to the Fogmen, but these are like upgraded version. Also, there's some interesting mods about this that make them even more scary. So, instead of fighting just normal cannibals like this, you're going to be fighting cannibals with armor and stats even in the 50s. Now, of course, their armor isn't going to be very good because they're cannibals. I mean, I don't think they are at the top of the technological development yet. But, <laughs> oh, listen, there's many. A few of them limping in the distance as well. Pretty interesting that I basically only got hit in the chest. Mm. Now if I had the better armor I <laughs> actually would have um, had like 50 HP left in my chest right now. The difference is that big. Oh, nice double hit. I need to dip for a bit. This episode ends when I wipe this place out. They've got 83 people here. These six will be my opponents. These five. Updated version. my chest a lot. Okay, well, it's time I heal myself. In that case. God damn it, I failed. Now with two of them it should be a Pretty easy thing to defeat. Oh. 
One more. That was a bit risky, not dodging there. Whatever. This one's on the ground. Eliminate them as well. Oh, that was also very close. Oh. I got knocked out, actually. Now they would kidnap me otherwise, but I guess they are busy treating their allies first. Now something they do is that they actually cook you if they capture you. <laughs> of course they are cannibals after all. And it looks like I was able to defeat this contingency of them over in this area. The ones that followed me, they were doomed to death, were they not? Now they have 57 left, I guess a few of them died, even besides the ones I killed here. They haven't died yet, but they will die. All of them should have fatal wounds. I mean, I'm an Edge Type 3 user. This one's actually playing there, so... You know, I get the chance to attack them. Oh, they will attack me. That works too. Okay, let's see how it goes for you. Alright, now... Hmm. You can play dead or you want. Have fun with that. Bleeding out. Oh. Random big thing. It hit that the cannibal too. <laughs> Sorry matey. Unlucky. And that big thing really was no issue at all. Did I take down any of their chieftains? Yet? No, I haven't. Alright. This one's challenging me alone. Nice. Get easy attacks here. There's another Serigin bandit. Oh, it's chronic cannibal. Oh, you survived two hits. Lucky. I do 92 damage though, so... Even if you survive them, you're going to be critically injured anyway. Okay, this one did not get as lucky. Next one. Looks like their fight against me is a bit disoriented this time. Their forces are split. That's certainly not good for them. When I take out their reinforcements like this. You should have walked away when you survived one attack from me. You should not have stayed for the second. Oh, but I've not taken any limbs off. Hmm. Unlucky. Oh, there we go. <laughs> That's fixed now. The more I continue fighting, the better of a limb peeling machine I will become. And it looks like they've got a bit of a more concerted effort to take me down now. There should be their chiefs coming for me now as well. I could find them. Let's where they are. Oh, nice. That was some nice hits. That allows me not to be ganged up on as badly. They're going to get more confused. Ninety-seven damage. I mean, of course, these guys only have thirteen toughness and no armor. But this one's going to be knocked out of. Bloodless now. I'm going to see them go down just by themselves. Oh, no, well, now they're super dying. Okay. Couldn't see it. I'm collapsing. Too disarmed. 
our dislegged opponents. Three. There we go. It's more like it. How are you doing? One more hit anywhere and you go down to blood loss. That's a pretty brutal attack. Almost a kill. Next one. On the line. Another pretty brutal attack. Now where do you have your chieftain? I've come for his head. Where are the cannibal leaders? Oh, with some luck I could have taken off that arm. Another one that I need a little bit of luck on. There we go. Nice. That's a disarmed opponent instead. This one will be disarmed in a moment. I could have pro probably just started blocking. Oh, but he did lose a leg. And he's going to lose an arm too. So at a one special. Two in one special, I mean. 80 damage immediately. Just goes down from one attack. Oh. This. This one actually got a hit in. Will I recover? Next. Come here, little clean man. <laughs> Who's next? Oh, that's one more leg. Now I'm losing count of how many I've disarmed or delegged. Delimped. You got really lucky not going down there. <laughs> and this is extremely good training. Because there's so many pieces of meat for me to cut down. seventy-four damage. It looks like a chicken. <laughs> For a second I thought that was a chicken. But instead they captured a berserker. So yes, they show up here. But because I defeated their boss, they spawn in smaller groups, I think. Where was another? Oh, they didn't? Yeah, they did lose a left arm. There we go. Yeah, they've got berserkers here, fighting them as well. I'm lucky for them. Getting double teamed like that. But now I can fight the berserkers. <laughs> it doesn't really matter how many of them are. Here. And looks like I'm getting a bit worn out, so my stamina and my dexterity is going down. Actually, there is no stamina, but strength and dexterity. So I'm losing attack speed. Need to zoom out, just in case. There we go. That's that one's down. Mm, who's that? An escaped servant as well. See, they managed to kidnap them as well. Okay. There's like six or seven of them left now. Actually, there's way more than that, but attacking me right now. There's six. Five. Four. Calling the meek. Hmm, that attack is kind of slow. I would prefer it to be faster. 
Okay, three, two. Damn, these ones are still up. Still. And there we go. Zero. This can one cut up from one cut. Let's give them a worse one. Hmm. Mm. We can kind of steamroll them. Yes, this one is a fully healthy one. For now. They're going to see. Oh, they didn't get any toughness because I knocked them out so fast. This one will get toughness though. You're going to see it. Yeah, there we go. 11 toughness. Unfortunately, he's also dying now too. But you take your victories with your defeats, you know? Hello. Come here. There is nowhere to hide. Ah, <laughs> oh, goddammit. How did that hit me? <laughs> Two hits? Oh, they managed to hit me again. They do have a small chance for that happening. Now they must be kind of low on the... Cannibals, right? There's a Berserker up again. Defeating them too. This one's another recovered individual. Now I just need to wipe out the remnants. I think that's a cannibal chief. No. It wasn't. Or, um, I shouldn't be saying past tense yet. Not they are, wasn't. There was another recovered one. This one also just got up. I was just spawning camping them. Left leg removed. Another one. Another one. Ah, oh, this one is a fresh one. No longer they are fresh. No longer are they fresh, I should say it like that. This episode I am killing every single inhabitant of this village. Next episode I am exterminating the other village and also I want to get rid of the... Um, actually I don't know how many villages there are. But whatever, I will uh, take out two of these cannibal places next episode and that's a... Remove the leg again. Another one. Now back to the Berserkers. This one's super unconscious. They are trying to recover. Don't let them. Sigma grinds it. Now what do you have here? Uh, they should have some decent loot because they who have quite a few. Oh, someone just attacked me for a moment. Ganked me and then ran away when they realized attacking me five times didn't work. Oh, forget it, they are stupid. Okay, rest in peace. Yes. Two attacks, three attacks. And every single part of your body is now bleeding. I just want to go that for a moment. Ah, this is more like it. Now, let's see what you have. A cartoon number two topper. Mm, the topper looks to be pretty good actually. One cat. 170 cats. Some copper. I think they stole these from somewhere else. Probably their victims that they ate. A letter turtleneck. And a city piece of armored rags. I take that book though. Then the next. What do you have here? Some more little cats. 
Oh, change that. High grade. Okay, that one's valuable. Like, really damn valuable. After that, I'm not going to wipe these cannibals out again. Just to make sure, you know. Okay, time to run around beating all of them up again. Stay for a cover a bit. Are you ready for another battle? I hope you are. How many of you have... are there? 36 are still alive. Let's just speed it, speed it up and hunt them down. One more, one more, one more, one more, oh, one more, two more, three more, four more, five more, six more, seven more, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, no. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, oh, wait, it's a new Forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, fifty. I mean forty-nine, fifty. There we go. There's one more. Come on now, come here. Don't be shy. <laughs> Eighty-five damage. I got a lot stronger wiping these guys out. Now thank me later for exterminating the cannibal scourge. Let me just get the thumbnail for the video. Like this. Exactly, exactly. Something like this. Oh, a new, a new squad of them. I hope you aren't too panicked by the fact that half of your comrades are dead on the floor. Maybe your insanity is going to protect you from the realization that you're next. Your numbers are paltry compared to the, the amount that they were before. Oh nice, there's a big thing now as well. Let them have a funny tattoo. And yeah, these are roaming squads coming back to the base. Noticing that everyone's just died over there. Well, I'm gonna make it happen again, guys. And I'm not exactly sure, but I think they might be willing to eat their comrades in a moment as well. Hmm, I'm getting a bit low. Fortunately, the big thing will also be helping me in the process and... You know, these berserkers are going to do their part too. They don't have the best weapons, but they're so much stronger. Big things now coming in. So this is the one that came in before. <laughs> it got knocked out by someone already. <laughs> How many are there? Ah, uh, 35 somehow. I'm not sure how. By the way, when these guys lock these berserkers, into these uh, skewers. If you free them, there's a chance that they're going to join you. Oh, there's a cannibal that's alive. We can't have that. Oh, one more. One more. There's four more, I think. Five, six. If finally I could see if there's any more alive ones. Hmm, damn. <laughs> okay, 
Now it's a bit of a butcher song. I'll call that exterminated. I don't see anyone up anymore. So, thank you for watching everyone. See you next time. Bye bye.